Hey guys, so I'm trying this snack, this barefoot and chocolate all natural hazelnut chocolate spread. I'm just gonna eat it from the thing. Here are the ingredients. Organic cane sugar, hazelnuts, palm fruit oil, organic cocoa powder, organic sunflower oil, organic skim and oh skimmed milk powder, sunflower lecithin. Okay, I don't even know how to say that. Organic vanilla, fair trade certified by Fair Trade USA, certified sustainable palm fruit oil. Sorry if the bed is shaking. Um. Manufactured in a facility that processes peanuts, tree nuts, soy, milk, I mean milk, soy, and wheat. No, no refrigeration necessary. And all this stuff right here. Why am I reading you everything? I have no idea. But <laughs> it's going to be good because I think I ate one before. It was also barefoot and chocolate, but I forgot what flavor it was. Do you remember? What? I think it was almond. But yeah, it was good. Hi guys. Good morning guys. I'm I'm the narrator. Are here. you recording yourself? Yeah. Like, Hi guys. Hello? Good morning guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys. So I got this stupid uh package for Corey for her birthday, so here it goes. Go. Morning guys. So I got a package today from Color Pop. Um, excuse my lips. I've been playing with lipstick. Yeah, check out her freaking Steve. <laughs> They're, oh, it's all <laughs> over. Yeah. Um, the bite lipsticks just transfer. Pull tab. All the way. This is from ColourPop. It's one of the gifts that I got for my birthday. No, from Colourpop. You know that they're, um, I don't know if this is real. Looks real. It looks pretty real to me. Like, it was really written. Oh, wow. So, that's cool. Dear Cory, from one aspiring unicorn to another, you're magical. XOXO Colourpop. Their, um, place is actually at, um, Santa Monica. That's where their uh, main office is. So these are just um, about their products. I got the Where the Light Is by Kathleen Lights because she's one of my favorite YouTubers. It's um, the quad or like four of them, four different shades. They're all kind of in the browns. No, you can see that. But I'll show you guys later on a different day, I guess. I'll use them. And I've been wanting to try them and wanting to touch touch them because I've been wanting to feel how they feel because everybody tells them that they feel a certain way and I got four lippy sticks I also had a coupon for five dollars off so well hopefully this one's okay I gotta throw this packaging away even if it's pretty I got this one in Lumiere I don't know if you can see that but um, it's one of the ones that Kathleen made for them. And Princess is licking herself. Ooh, ooh get it in there. Get it in there. It's a really nice natural, oh, like, everyday color, I would think. At least for my skin tone. It's Gucci. We we'll just rip it. Feminist doesn't want to be mine. It's a uh, dark, one of the colors that Jose doesn't like. Corella de Vil. Uh. Feminist. And the formula feels really, really like my high end ones, and I just bought one from Nars. Which cost thirty two dollars. Jose didn't know until like I told him. Actually, we watched the video. <laughs> and then I got mad. And then this one's in leather. I like that the color is down here too. And then the stick is the same color. I don't know 
if I told you guys what kind of finishes they are. This is a matte finish. Feminist is a matte finish and Lumiere is a matte finish. I like matte lipsticks. I mean, I don't really wear a lot of lip gloss. I do have a lot of lip gloss for somebody who doesn't wear lip gloss. And I got LBB, another matte lipstick. I got LBB because um, I like the color, how it looked on the website. And who was it? Jessica Jam Beauty or something, 89, something like that, got them that color. Here's the colors. They're pretty much like berry colors and then one of um moving your phone. And then one more natural. But yeah, I may change my lip color right now. So the first mine. I'll swatch the eyeshadows at the different time. That's it. Thank you, bye. The videos that I've been trying to upload for over a week have finally uploaded, so yay, 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 yay. Ah! I'm so mad because it took forever. I was trying to upload it through the, <clears throat> excuse me, the YouTube app, and it was taking like days before, and then it took a week, over a week, for one of the videos, and then it just, it went to like, um error and I had to like delete it and then I downloaded YouTube capture and it works and it takes like a couple hours or an hour or less and I uploaded three videos today so yay that I'm really it's like yay and yeah I have a lot of makeup on right now sorry um I just tried out the new eyeshadows that I got from Kathleen lights um the the one shadow that she said that was gonna be too light for like darker skin like me um was too light of but um i think i'm gonna give it to my cousin i'm gonna see her tomorrow so i'll just give it to her since she wears makeup and she's light skin so it works out i mean i just wanted to buy it to support her and i knew that that color i wasn't gonna like but i tried to play around with it to see but it just, it didn't work out for me. and didn't blend well with the other colors or maybe it's just me. But, yeah, I am not good at that cat eye thing. I just usually line my eyes and I don't flick it out. I have a little bit of a contour going on right here. And then, like, my um, pimple made it kind of look deeper when it's not even up to here, like, my regular skin has that already and then this side wouldn't show up as much as the other side because I already have it here or my face shape is just different on this side than it is on this side but yeah I'm happy and sorry if you don't like the way I look um I'm okay with it I'm just at the house it's not like I'm going out and looking crazy like this I just wanted to try out the new stuff that I got and I'm also using the Park Avenue Princess as kind of like a topper for my blush because it's um, lighter than it would be on somebody with fair skin. So, yeah. And it's always paid off. So I'm watching these grandmas on YouTube um, go skydiving and I it makes me want to go skydiving. Even if I'm scared as shit of heights, but I kind of want to do it. Just because I just want to experience it for once in my life, at least. It's like one of the grandmas, they ask her, would you ever do it again? And she's like, no. <laughs> Excuse me. And the other one said, like, yes. But if I did it, I'd probably say, hell no. It's like, my favorite ride at Six Flags is, what's that called? Full throttle. Full throttle. But I don't know if I would go on it again if I had a chance. Before Full Throttle, my favorite ride was Deja Vu, but they took that out and they put it in a different Six Flags or something, or a different theme park. I'm not sure which one, but if I could ride Deja Vu again, I might. If I could ride Full Throttle again, not sure. I would do it again, but I would already be freaking out before I get it done. So, 
but that's just me. 